all know that weather can cause damage to your health, but there's more of a concern beyond sunburns and dehydration. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow has the details. You won't find metal slides on most modern playgrounds. This is plastic. But it turns out metal isn't the only material that can cause thermal burns. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, as long as equipment is in direct sunlight for an extended period of time, there is a risk. We're running at about 130 right here. That's 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Terso de Ubago is a certified infrared inspector. Using an infrared thermal imaging camera, he's helping us measure the temperature of this playground equipment. And if a child decides to climb up the ladder, they could get burned hands. Lighter colored equipment is less dangerous, but still very hot. It mo looks more shaded, but she's still going down 110 degrees, 106 degrees slide. And it's not just the playground equipment that's heating up. This rubberized surface that we're standing on is at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And the bottom of my shoe, at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The results are surprising to mom Amanda Pinkham here with her son, Walker. But you really don't hear people talking about it. Not the way you hear about sunscreen. CPSC warns a young child's skin is more susceptible to thermal burns. Also, that some children haven't yet learned to react by removing themselves from hot surfaces. Here with his dad, four-and-a-half-year-old Edwin Swing reads 115 degrees. Quite surprised. And the hottest surface on this playground is the most popular. 148, 150 degrees. Our temperature readings are at 5 p.m. Midday, De Ubago estimates the readings would be at least 20 degrees hotter. In Walnut Creek, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.